here's mom with the with, <laughs> yeah well come, yeah but come, come on here. come sit here you know that's, that's, <laughs> you can you can see the likeness huh Werner Stutzer built his South Edition home with his wife Margaret 20 years ago it's filled with artwork he created this is a, a rose the Stutzer family crest is a rose even a set of shutters he got the hardware from Switzerland painted to remind him of his European home. That's one of the pictures he painted when he was about 15 or something. And this is what he created. So here, here are the salmon w working their way up the falls, and there they change colors when they spawn. Werner's talents were nurtured in his native Switzerland, but it was Anchorage where he settled with his young family in 1959. My brother is four years older, but we have a birthday on the same day, and so, oh, so we- Had to make two cakes. <laughs> he found work quickly as a painter, and went on to specialize in murals. He really did love to do it. It wasn't a job, it wasn't a chore. It was for him, <laughs> that's what he loved to do. Stutzer's work includes murals on nearly every Anchorage high school, inside and out. The West High Eagle was his first. The Trojan at nearby Romick, also his. And the Thunderbird at East High School. But despite the public nature of his art, Stutzer's son says his father wasn't interested in becoming well-known. He didn't make his creations because he wanted notoriety. He did them because it was his passion. Stutzer's murals are also found on many Alaskan businesses. The giant Paul Bunyan and his ox on the side of Spinard Builder's Supply. And the iconic logo for Alaska sausage and seafood that is still used today. And that's um, on our product all over the state. and so. Uh, it's very uh, warm feelings in our heart about, about Werner Stutzer and the entire Stutzer family. But while many of Stutzer's creations have lasted through the decades, some have not. Buildings have been remodeled or torn down, and the artwork has gone with them. Son says as a painter, he took that in stride. He created it, people were able to enjoy it, and he knows everything has a lifespan. Werner Stutzer may be gone, but much of his artwork will live on. Lauren Maxwell, KTBA 11 News.